Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy this art babe uh, uh, process which is made in UiPath Studio to Orchestrator. So first you have to create your uh, process in UiPath Studio. Uh, ahead of time I already created one, so to publish it you have to click publish. Now there's two publish options. You can publish to P Orchestrator Personal Workspace Feed and Custom. When you publish it to Orchestrator Pers uh, I mean, when you publish it to Custom, it just publishes to a folder which you choose. You can click here or here. So then you can just click Publish. And then you could just open your folder and then, ta-da, it's there. So you can just open it then. So then you can just open it. So, th but... I'm going to show you how to publish it to Orchestrator Personal, Personal Workspace Feed. So there's not really a difference between Orchestrator Personal Workspace Feed and Orchestrator Tenant Process Feed. The difference is that they just come up in different places in Orchestrator. That's all the difference. So for right now, I'm just going to keep it to Orchestrator Personal, Personal Workspace Feed. This is nothing you need to worry about. So yeah. And here it already gives everything you need uh, to keep here. Like the package name it shows here, which process you want to get. So it already shows there. And then what versions, uh, what's the current version. It might be different for you. And this one is the new version, which will come out. It adds another version if you changed it. Only. So then you can click publish. So it's publishing the package. So now it's f uh, fully published. So here you are. Now you'll have to scroll down and click here. So right now I'm in Orchestrator. So it might take you to here, but just then just click here because this is where uh, the per, uh, uh, Orchestrator Personal Workspace feed uh, take uh, stores as automations. So then you click on automations. So, uh, don't worry about what I'm doing right now. And right now, just click Add. And then select the package name, like the, the name of your process. And then it does everything else for you. And then you can just click Create. So, it shows it there. So, to really see if it came, I mean, like it shows it here. But to see it, I'm going to open your iPad Assistant. So, here it is. Then it's showing this. So it's fully installed, even though it says a waiting install. And then you can just click run. So then it's going to just run the process. And that's it for today. Thank you.